What's good everybody? Welcome back to the Cloud Slayer channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, today is Monday, another Monday ramble. Um, unfortunate news, we had the Vikings lose and we had um, the Minnesota Lynx loss as well. They lost to the, uh, the WNBA championship. It was a close one. Uh, crappy last second call for end of regulation to send it to overtime and uh, couldn't couldn't pull it out at the in, in overtime so uh, we end up losing uh, losing 67 to 62 um, yeah but I mean it's a high pressure game uh, tough situations stuff like that um, can't leave it in the hands of the referees right um, I think they shot more than twice as many free throws as us and uh, although we had a higher shooting percentage um, it was, at the end of the day it was the free throws that um, pretty much beat us you know what I mean so um, I mean there's not much you can do if you uh, your team's in foul trouble except for continue to play I suppose but you know it just it just goes to show that um, even though you're the better shooting team that it doesn't matter uh, because you, you could be the team in more foul trouble right um, it's gonna happen uh, till next year you know what I mean it's gonna um, Hopefully it'll drive them to want to win more, I guess. But anything can happen. Any other team could become better and things like that. And so can you, right? <laughs> Just get, so can we all. We, we all have stuff to work on. And um, I think, you know, this, this rambles, it's, it's going to go into um, how, do, how does one improve themselves, right? How, how do you improve yourself? And as always, these are all personal things and uh, personal opinions of my own. And... Um, you know, these are things that I have to work at. These are things that um, I have to realize within myself. And you, you, in no way, shape, or form am I telling anybody that they have to do these things. It's just uh, some steps that I took into helping better myself as time goes on, as, um, you know, things like that. So it, it's, it's one of the things is reflecting, I think, because, you know, uh, we all, you know, when I, here's an example. I, when I was a kid, I, I failed my driver's test, man. I, I failed it um, two times, and, you know, my family was making fun of me. It was the written test, right? I, I failed it twice, and, uh, you know, my mom, my dad, uh, my brothers, my sisters, they were making fun of me and stuff like that. And, you know, I at first it was because I was just selecting whatever. I didn't take the time to, to read things, and I didn't. I didn't want to admit that the, after the our, uh, going into the second one, I just did the same thing, right? And it, it yielded the same result. And so uh, going into the third test, I knew that that's what happened. So I, I took the time to read through the manually carefully and that uh, when, I, when it came test time, that I read every single question before selecting it instead of going gung-ho and selecting um, the the answer right away what I thought was the answer and uh, ultimately getting it wrong right and pass with flying colors right it took uh, I had to identify why I was failing right and why you know I, I didn't pass those two times it's because you know um, for the, that certain situation it was identifying that I wasn't taking the time to to read and I didn't take the time to um study it right and I just wasn't taking time period I was uh, rushing into it and um, you know I, I just I didn't learn the first time so I had to it took me the next time to learn ultimately got it and then um, it, <laughs> I failed my driving test the first uh, the the first time and then I passed it the second time but uh, I learned from the first one you know uh, I was just nervous. I was nervous to have somebody in the vehicle, and I knew that right away because, you know, I made silly mistakes that I, I usually wouldn't. And uh, it was, you know, not checking my mirrors, not um, uh, when we were going downhill. I didn't turn the wheels towards the curb, which I know I practiced a lot before that. I practiced the parallel parking and the 90-degree back end. And, um, you know, I just was nervous. It's, it's easy to mess up when you're nervous and uh, not pay attention to the things that you would do normally. And, you know, I had to recite that to myself, look back, because on the driving test, unlike the, the written test, you can, um, 
you know, you can go back, you can look at what you got wrong and work on those and, um, you know, stuff like that. I know I had other friends that failed multiple times and it was, for them, it was like the same thing, you know, it's, they didn't take the time to uh, inspect what, what they got wrong and try to correct those things. Maybe they were in denial, you know what I mean? And uh, that's the easy thing for a lot of us is to, to not accept why we failed and to uh, not work at those things because we're like, oh, we're perfect at that already, right? Oh, I know the answer to that. I know this, that, and another thing. And I, I just, you don't, you're just not taking the time to, to realize it. And you, you think you're perfect already, right? And um, the, the fact of the matter is you're not perfect, right? You're, you're, you're going to come up to situations where you might fail and you might fail multiple times. But if you're willing to take the time to to identify those weaknesses and work at those things and you'll be able to overcome those right it just um what is that if there's a will there's a way and as long as you're paying attention you're gonna you're gonna pass it you're gonna ace that test right um it's just a matter of working at those things that are your weaknesses that you will have identified and the older you get maybe the more you'll realize it because when we're younger we're full of confidence and we're uh, you know, we don't want to admit sometimes our faults and uh, things that are imperfect about us. But, you know, that, that comes in ex with experience, right? Uh, experience teaches us everything that we need to know about ourselves and the, and the things that we do in our lives. And, um, you know, it's just a matter of opening up your ears and um, executing, right? So, but... Um, there's other there's other things that go along with that too, you know, uh, not uh, not listening to um, or, or paying attention to what, what you're doing and things like that. But you know, sometimes it's just um, a matter of going through these things. Anyways, you may know, but you may not know until afterwards. So um, you know. So, uh, but this was another Monday ramble. Hope everybody had a great one. And uh, until next time. Um, I hope you guys have a great one, and I hope this helps you out a little bit. Um, if not, then, um, you know, <laughs> it happens. So, but anyways, uh, check you guys later. Peace.